Another Bite, hosted by John Dick, Jory Monroe, and Ariel Boswell, is brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network, the audio destination for business professionals. Each week, they break down episodes of everyone's favorite business television show, Shark Tank, offering their own unique thoughts, spin-off companies, critiques, and even talk with some of the folks who pitch to the sharks and live to tell the tale. From squatty potties to mench on a bench, and even that weird golf club you use as a toilet, Another Bite takes a fresh look at some of your favorite episodes, and even more importantly, answers what these entrepreneurs are up to now. It's an amazing show for getting a more in-depth look at how businesses are built. And no matter where you are in your journey of work or business ownership, you can be sure you'll walk away with a fresh perspective. So listen to Another Bite wherever you get your podcasts. This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1121, Eight Things Successful Creative Professionals Do by Hilary Barnett with nosidebar.com. And I'm Dan, your personal narrator, and we're gonna get right into our post today as we hear from Hillary and optimize your life. Eight Things Successful Creative Professionals Do by Hilary Barnett with nosidebar.com. Let's be honest, creative work is hard. Not the typical kind of hard. Creative professionals certainly aren't out there sweating under the hot sun, risking our lives, or, gasp, enduring a dreaded retail position. But we are creating, and that's no joke. It's a different kind of hard, the kind we can't always wrap our heads around. The inspiration comes, and the inspiration goes. We pound out line after line of work to come to the end and feel the sudden urge to trash every word of it. We invoke the muse, sit down, and hope against hope, this time we offer up something that will be well-received. In an interview with Fresh Air's Terry Gross, Mad Men creator Matthew Weiner was asked what he plans to do after the show, which, after seven seasons, is coming to an end. He said he's going to prime the pump, spend time in the real world connecting with friends, observing, eavesdropping, and taking notes. This reveals something about the creative process that's important. Creativity is not limited but our ability to tap it is. We have to do the work behind the work. But before we cultivate a plan, let's take a look at those who are in our space and who are getting it right. Here are eight things successful creatives do, paired with suggestions on what that can look like for you. One, they know their own creative rhythm. When you're beginning something, how do you feel? What about when you are in the midst of your creative flow and when it is coming to an end? Pay attention to your mind and your body when you are creating and act on those signals. Don't ignore them. Two, they are aware of where they are in the process. Half the battle is simply staying present. Sometimes the process is as basic as recognizing a deadline and sticking to it, or you may set up small victory moments along the way to complete a larger project. Wherever you are, respect that every phase is different. Three, they step away from the computer. When they complete something, they allow themselves to be truly finished. As creators, they want to constantly edit and improve, but when they deliver a finished product, they let it go and stand on its own two feet. Four, they engage in mindless activities. When we create, we are tapping our minds in an intense way and utilizing parts of our brain that need rest, just like our bodies. So when you're in between projects, Give your mind a break. Let it wander. Turn off the running to-do list in your head, if you can, and just see where your thoughts go. Five, they spend time with people in real life. Our altered sense of digital connection cannot replace real face time with the people in our lives. Sit down for a couple of hours and just talk with someone. Listen, engage, and see what you can learn from them. Conversations are powerful and fill us up in ways that no tweet, reply, or comment ever could. Six, they seek out a new environment or experience. Sometimes a change of scenery is all it takes to get things moving. Your physical space can have a huge impact on your ability to create. So if you find yourself in a rut, go somewhere new. It doesn't have to be an uber creative office space. Under a tree or a new coffee shop might be just the thing. Seven, they do something else. Are you a writer? Then do a little design. Are you a painter? Grab a journal and write something down. 
When we're expected to be creative in one capacity over and over again, we can begin to view it as a chore. But when we tap into other creative activities, it can give us perspective and feed our energy and love for what we do. And eight, they exert physical energy. Whenever you feel stuck, there is nothing more effective than moving your body. Research proves getting a little exercise is one of the best things we can do to stimulate our minds. Who doesn't need more endorphins in their bloodstream? Even a quick, brisk walk can do the trick. Eliminate the noise. There is so much noise out there, from visual noise to information noise. Take a few minutes to just be quiet. Turn off the music, close your eyes, and breathe. You'd be surprised what may come up when you purposefully take time to just be. If there's one thing creative people are good at, it is noticing. But when we are doing the work, we are hyper-focused. When you find yourself tapping out, stop and notice. As Matthew Weiner said in his interview, do some eavesdropping. Listen to what is going on around you. Watch people as they walk by and imagine their backstory. Spend some time observing something small and typically obscured from view. There is creative power in noticing the little things. Here's to doing your best work. You just listened to the post titled Eight Things Successful Creative Professionals Do by Hilary Barnett with nosidebar.com. You want consistency and quality, but you also want variety and freshness. If you run a business, you want it all. With nuts.com, you can get so many different delicious snacks and ingredients and know they will consistently exceed your expectations. Nuts.com is your one-stop shop for the highest quality foods for business. They offer delicious office snacks, corporate gifts, and wholesale ingredients. And over 50,000 companies choose nuts.com for their business needs, from offices to hotels to restaurants and retail stores. And we've even loved their product as remote workers. Nuts.com has sent us plenty of snacks that keep us energized and focused so we can deliver the best work we can. Nuts.com makes ordering for your business quick and easy. Right now, Nuts.com is offering new business customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $125 or more at Nuts.com slash OWD. So go check out all of the delicious options at Nuts.com slash OWD. You'll receive a free gift and free shipping when you spend $125 or more. That's Nuts.com slash OWD. Your business was humming. Was. Now, teams are buried in manual work, taking forever to close the books. Consider three numbers, 36,000, 25, 1. 36,000, that's the number of businesses which have upgraded to NetSuite by Oracle. NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system, streamlining accounting, financial management, inventory, HR, and more. 25, NetSuite turns 25 this year. That's 25 years of helping businesses do more with less. One, because your business is one of a kind, so you get a customized solution for all of your KPIs in one efficient system with one source of truth. NetSuite is giving you the power of having all your information in one place, helping you to make better, more driven decisions as a business owner. Right now, download NetSuite's popular KPI checklist designed to give you consistently excellent performance absolutely free at netsuite.com slash startup. That's netsuite.com slash startup to get your own KPI checklist. netsuite.com slash startup. And thanks so much to Hillary and the team at No Sidebar for letting us share their articles here. No Sidebar is all about getting rid of the excess and focusing on the essentials. That's one of the main topics over on one of our other shows in our network as well, Optimal Living Daily. So if you like this kind of content, you can check out that show for much more of it. No Sidebar features a wide variety of authors, and uh, most of the posts there are from guest writers covering minimalism both at home and work, so that we can have lives full of purpose and simplicity. So come visit nosidebar.com for much more, and again, to hear a bunch of articles from No Sidebar being narrated for you, you can check out the podcast Optimal Living Daily. But that should do it for today. I thank you so much for being a subscriber to the show and uh, being here with me each and every day. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow, where your optimal life awaits.